Good day everyone, I'm Janet Isaborao. I will be presenting Implementation of Weekly Kumustahan, Basis for Overcoming the Barriers of Blended Learning Modality of Grade 12 of Cavite Science Integrated School for the school year 2021-2022. My co-proponents are Elaine I. Malones and Joanna I. De Luna. For the rationale, in the new normal, there are different learning delivery systems presented to students. From my previous study, the top five barriers of the students are lack of social interaction, managing time, communicating with classmates and collaborating with peers, and lack of consistent internet connection. With this, the researchers propose a change of setting in the blended modality, which we call intervention, and we offer weekly kumustahan. For the key literature, several studies showed how students perform in their respective subjects. In my previous study, barriers that students face in the modality includes lack of social interaction, managing time, communicating with classmates, and collaborating with peers, respectively. As well as, there are different studies from Liam Loy Can in 2021 and Bridley Walty Balski, Jackson Jones, and Rodriguez. For the methodology, the research design uses are qualitative and quantitative. The target participants are grade 12 students of school year 2021-2022. The intervention used was weekly kumustahan. And for our data gathering, we use survey questionnaire and analysis of the achievement level and its comparison. The figure shows the barriers they face in the modality includes lack of social interaction, managing time, communicating with classmates and collaborating with peers, respectively, as the first three biggest barriers. The above table shows the achievement level of the grade 12 students from school year 2020 to 2021 and school year 2021-2022, an increase of 4.93% in the achievement level of the students. This only showed that they overcome the barriers as cited in this study. Weekly online kumustahan really helped the students to achieve higher academic performance. For the implication, this can be used as a topic for lack session and can be included in the learning continuity plan or what we call LCP and a baseline for teachers as an intervention to increase their students' performance. For my conclusion, the results showed that the intervention activity online kumustahan really helps students overcome all the barriers as cited in the study. For our recommendation, the school as well as the district may adopt and include the intervention activity used in this research study, weekly online kumustahan. It may be also included in the school's LCP. These are some of the references used in this study. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day.